The DRKB, or Kiffhauserbund, was formed in 1900 and its aim was to maintain the morale and comradeship of veterans as well as providing financial support to members in need. It was loosely based on the DKB, which was originally formed after the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-71, and the Kiffhauser in the name referred to a war monument that had been built in 1896 in the Kiffhauser mountain range in Germany. It had gained quite a large membership by 1913, with there being around 2.8 million veterans, but after the war, the association lost many of its members, as well as now being an independently run association. As a result, the name was now changed to the German Warriors Association Kiffhauser. However, when the Nazis came to power in 1933, the organisation was Nazified, and by 1938, the name was changed again to the NSRKB, or the National Socialist Reich Warriors Association Kiffhauser. The organisation was disbanded in 1943 by Hitler following the Battle of Stalingrad. Many of the members would later go on to fight in Volkssturm units in the final months of the war. However, in 1952, the organisation was officially re-established by West Germany and is still around today. So here's an example of an NSRKB armband. This one is in near mint condition with it being unissued. The armband is made of black wool and on the front of the armband there is a cross with a swastika on a red shield with a white outline. There are many different variations of the armband, but the most common other Nazified example being the one with a Kiffhauser monument on top of a swastika on a shield. Now some armbands will have one or more white stripes running horizontally across the armband right through the centre there, as well as some other additional features and these indicate the rank of the person, for example, if they were a district leader. On the back of the armband there's not really much to see, we can only see the outline of the emblem on the front there and the two sides not stitched together indicating that is an unissued piece. So I think it's a really interesting thing to have in your collection because it's got such a long and interesting history. You know, it goes all the way back, the roots of it, to the Franco-Prussian War, World War I, you've got World War II, and all the way up until the present day. And there are, of course, other items of the Kiffhauser Bund to collect, like visor caps, and so I think it's a really interesting and unique route to go down. I don't think I know anyone who primarily focuses on the Kiffhauser Bund, so if you think about it, it might be a nice one to go down. That's the end of the video today. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and liking the video. You don't have to, but it would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.